Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Andrea and this is Beauty with Andy. So today's video is going to be a full face of almost Wet n Wild products. The only things that I haven't got, I don't have a primer. Do Wet n Wild even do primers? I don't know. I didn't see one on the Beauty Bay website. Um, I didn't get a brow product which I, I wish that I would have got um, and I think that's it guys I think I've got everything else to do the full face um, I did buy some new products on the wet n wild side which you'll see me go through I'll tell you what's new and what's not new so right let's go in with a primer first of all so we're going to be using this hydrating primer by Nivea. It's in a project pan. So I just thought, well since I don't have a wet and wild one, why don't we just finish this one off? Well not finish it off, but use more of it. I love it. It just feels so cooling on the skin. And it's less than £3 to buy, so I'm definitely going to repurchase it. So I do have a few things to do today. Um, I've got to wait in for a couple more hours just in case the postman delivers my birch box. Um, I'm sure it's been dispatched but I'm not 100% sure um, and obviously I just want to see if they're going to deliver it today. Um, then I've got to go to my mum's and pick up some money and her, um, basically she wants me to pay a bill so I need to pick up that. Um, and then, yeah, so then I need to go into town. Well, not town, but I need to go to the doctors first, should I say, pick up my blood form and go to the hospital. Um, so that's two buses. Um, so I've got to go into town and then another bus to the hospital. Um, and then I've got to just go and get a few things in town as well. Um, because on Sunday, my mum's going to make us shepherd's pie. So I'm going to pick up the ingredients for that. Her shepherd's pie is out of this world. So yeah, um, we're going to have that on Sunday and I think I'm going to pick up something for Saturday. I tried to um, order KFC last week and I was really looking forward to it for about two weeks and um, just, uh, just as I got to the KFC website, they're like, we are no longer taking deliveries in your area and I'm like, great, um, so what am I going to have for my tea tonight? Um, but yeah, that was that. Um, not the best start to that day. I've got all these brushes in here. Let's take these out. Right, so we're going to put this foundation on. It's not new. I have, I have um, bought a backup of this foundation though because it is absolutely brilliant and it was on sale on Beauty Bay. Um, so this one is the Dewy Foundation. I do have the original as well, but this one is without a shadow of a doubt my favourite. Quite runny, um, but definitely a favourite. It does look yellow toned. Looks very yellow toned. I'll just put it there and then I'll put some more on the head in the sack. Um, but it blends out really nicely. I'm going to use this new um, Real Techniques brush I got from TK Maxx a while ago. Well, a few weeks back. The battery's flashing at me, so I'll probably have to charge that in a sack. Oh, I also don't have a concealer, but we're using a Primark one that basically I only paid about £1.54. So the products I don't have in Wet n Wild, I've chosen like quite inexpensive products to actually use that are probably less than Wet n Wild products 
Um, so it's just a really, really nice foundation. That's I can't remember how much I paid for the actual um, new one I bought. I think originally it was either £4.50 or £4.95 and it had gone down quite a bit I think. So I just thought why not get a backup of it. Your foundation draw is getting quite low. I mean I've got quite a few um, but not as much as I used to have. I've got more primers these days, which is a little bit of a joke because um, I don't need that much primer. Right, so concealer. Right, so this is the concealer I'm using. It's the PS Beauty My Perfect Colour Liquid Concealer Medium Coverage in the shade Porcelain. I wouldn't say it's um, medium coverage at all. I would say it's more light. I don't really put that much on. Right, I'm going to get my sponge for this. Okay, just a tiny little sponge and I'm going to have to put some of that concealer on the lids as well so I don't have an eye base. Yeah, let's do that. Where is it now? Yeah, so I've got to go and get these bloods done. My neurologist rung me a few, a few weeks back now and um, the medication I'm on can cause... I've been on it like for, for life really. I've been on it since I was um, 10. And it can cause low sodium levels and that's why... I've been feeling so exhausted all the time. Um, so he wants to check my sodium levels and if they're on the extreme, if they're really, really low, then we're gonna need to treat it. Well, not not me, but obviously he's gonna need to give me some treatment. And like in the past, other patients have had to have surgery for it and things, and I'm like, oh my gosh, sounds quite serious. Um, he just wants me to go and get the test done. So that's what I'll be doing. Don't particularly want to go all that way to the hospital, but you got to do what you got to do, haven't you? So, yeah, um, I'll be doing that today. Right, so now... I don't have an under-eye setting powder. I do have this. This is an older product, so this is not new. It's the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Press Powder in Natural Beige. So, where's my powder brush? Use this one. Right, so I knew that this brush was, um, it's not going on with the brush, but a bit of it's fine. But this bit here is so, so sticky. I think when I've washed it, the glue's kind of come down here somehow and this has completely come off. Um, I mean, it's not the end of the world. I can just take that off and use it as a brush like that. I don't really want to. If I see another brush like this, I'm definitely going to pick it up. I thought um, this one was similar. This is just fluffy. It's not dense at all, not like that one. So we're going to use this one anyway. I'm just going to use this for powder, whereas this 
I use it like to kind of blend out if I've gone a, a little bit too heavy on um, bronzers and stuff. So let's pop some of this on. Right, and then I got this. So this is the Wet n Wild Colour Icon Bronzer in Ticket to Brazil. I've already got the Reserve Your Cabana, which I'm going to use as a finishing powder in a little while. Um, but everyone used to talk about this one as well. This was on sale as well. So, um, yeah, I got this. It doesn't look that pigmented, though. Um... So I don't know. They also do like the little bronzers now. They've got a ticket to Brazil and that. So I don't know whether I'm going to pick that up at some point. Um, we're going to be using the Japanese contour brush with it. Why do I feel like there's hair on my face? Yeah, so I'm just going to go in with that. There's quite a bit of fallout in the pan. Oh, that's looking nice. It's quite, quite a healthy glow. I feel like I've got hair somewhere. Yeah, so this is a glowy bronzer. If you don't like glowy bronzers, you're probably not going to like it. I like glowy bronzers, personally. Right, I'm just going to blend all that out. See, that's what I told you. I use this one for blending and I feel like I've got her. It's really frustrating. Do you know when you feel like you've got hair in your face but you can't see it? Feels like that. Should have just tied my hair up. Shall we tie it up? Alright now. Really I need some powder used to kind of chisel this out. I think I've got a wet and, wa wet and wild contour bronzer and powder that I got in the last haul. That I did when I shopped at Boots and did um, a wet and wild shopping haul. Let's go and see. Yeah I've got it. So I'm not going to be using this side I'm going to be using this side um, and this one is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette in Dolce de Leche. See if this... I mean to be honest that bronzer's are very very light, you can barely see I'm even wearing it. Okay, we'll do brows. So for brows, I'm not using Wet n Wild products because I didn't get any. So I'm using this one. This one is from Primark. It's the PS Brow Pencil. It's in dark brown. They don't do it anymore. So let's just pop some of this on. Brow gel is from Poundland. It's an absolute staple in my collection. I definitely want to get some more of this. I mean, look how tiny that spoolie is. I've got one by Natural Collection as well in there, but it's not. It's not as good. I mean, I do like the actual gel. I just don't like the brow. Um, yeah, because it's two, three times as thick as that. Um, so yeah. Right, and then I'm going to be using. Oh yeah, blush. 
so we're going to be using this duo as both blush and highlight so it's the wet and wild halo well wet and wild hello halo blush lighter um so it looks like that i've had this a while as well um so let's go in with a blush I wanted to get one of the colour icon blushes but they didn't have the colour I wanted um, right and before I, I use highlighter normally I go in with a setting spray I have managed to get one of the setting sprays I did want the rose one um, they didn't have it so I'm going to be using this one this one was on special offer i think this one was two pound fifty i think they're normally five pounds so i thought why not try it you get 45 mils worth of product um which is okay for two pound fifty um it's the wet and wild photo focus natural finish setting spray Ooh, i like the sprayer it smells smells nice yeah so that's that that one can go back in here now and then I just need to find that um, oh it's here I'm just gonna let that dry down and I'll come back right and then we're gonna go in with the highlighter side here it's gonna look quite icy because it's an icy white highlighter and I go in with this brush here I don't know what oh, it's, it's the by the brand Carla. It's the Crease 115 brush. Um, I used to use it for eyeshadow, but I don't anymore. I just use it for highlight. See, so can you see how I see it looks? I do have another highlighter by Wet n Wild. Could put that over the top. I think that's quite pink. Let's um, go and get that one yeah this is the iconic wet and wild mega glow highlighting powder it's not been in the collection that long um i got it like when i did the last um wet and wild shop um so i didn't get it from beauty bay this time and it's in blossom glow so i'm just gonna go over the top um because it's quite icy is that one from the duo that we used Right, that looks good. Um, so that's that. And then what I normally do then is I just go in with some finishing powder. I need to be careful with these um, these containers because they both look the same. So this is it. This is the Reserve Your Cabana one. Um, so let's just do that just to kind of buff it all in now I mean it's not like a setting powder this is so finely milled and it's glowy as well it is literally um, it's like a finishing powder rather than a setting powder so that's why I do this and it just kind of like ties everything in together and make sure it looks really really nice I'm going to have to get another one of these reserve your cabanas and I was going to um, but it wasn't on sale and there's quite a bit left you can obviously tell I've used it so so much I'm starting to get like a dip here in the middle so I will need to get another one soon this is not in project pan or anything like that but it doesn't go out of the drawer it doesn't go out, out of the everyday makeup drawer um so i guess you could call it an unofficial project pan um what else do we have well we've got a mascara i've got a new wet and wild crease brush that i got and then we've got a palette guys um Right, so I've heard about this palette for such a long time and I just thought, no, I'm not going to get it. Um, and then I saw Tammy Clark use it, watched a bit of that video and then I saw Bretman Rock's video and I just thought, 
it's gone down in the sale well, why not support him um, and this is what it looks like isn't it cute the packaging is so cute um, and I was gonna do like a face like I was gonna do first impressions on the face products and then I was gonna do this in a separate video I'm gonna do five days five looks with this um, probably next week when I do shop my shop my stash but I want to do a look with it today there's more than enough shadows to do that how many do you get 15 um, so it just looks like that you do get more mattes which is quite disappointing as I like a combination so you get one two three four five five shimmers and ten mattes um, so I'm not sure what I'm gonna do about that um, because I don't really use an awful lot of my eyeshadows but yeah I'm really really looking forward to using it so that's what it looks like um, so let's get started with the first look um, right I need to put some of these products back in this basket because they're all over the place so it's got a really nice plastic thing on it um, that I'll always probably keep on it just to keep the eyeshadows you know nice like it's really really thick oh, I'll show you properly now it's really really thick thicker than normal plastic so I like that I like the fact that the eyeshadows have the names on them in the palette um, I just think it's so like dated to not have an eyeshadow palette to have an eyeshadow palette without the actual names on it I don't think there's any need for that um, so yeah I think they've done good there he got to name like all of the eyeshadows in the palette and he said some of the eyeshadow names um, he couldn't believe Wet n Wild agreed agreed to so I'm going to read them out to you so the first one is this one that we're going to be using no surprise right I always go in with a cream ivory shade that one is called coconut canister and this guys is my first time using the palette it's also I only got this package yesterday um, and it's also my first time using wet and wild eyeshadows I've never tried any wet and wild eyeshadows so right so we've just put a new battery in so I'm gonna be trying this wet and wild brush um, I only got this really because the order came to less than £20 and Beauty Bay in the UK if you don't spend £20 they put a £3.95 shipping fee on and this one I think was either one ninety-five or £2.50 or something like that um, and I just thought why not try it um, and obviously then you'll get the free shipping um, I think if I'd spent like £15 and they wanted the £3.95 shipping I would have just I wouldn't have just paid for the shipping but because I was so close I was only like if about a pound out I just thought well I'll just order something else from Wet n Wild um, right so what are we doing now then okay so they don't have a crease shade like a real light crease shade they have that one called Ape Shit uh, <laughs> um, so yeah they've got that one I want to do a green look today I'm thinking why not use these ones so we've got anaconda or anaconda um, this is meant to be really really light it says um, like I watch people's video and it says like there's barely any pigment which is fine by me you can't even see it on my hand um, but that's the way Bretman wanted it um, and then we've got venomous next to it that would be good in the outer V and also on the lash line and then we've got big peacock energy all over the lid I think that would make an amazing look so shall we have a shall we have a go so yeah with this new brush let's see how this works out it's feels really really soft and I'm used to like crease brushes being not that soft so I might have to not use it um but yeah let's see huh. i think i'm gonna need a stiffer brush than that i mean that anaconda shade is showing up but only just i'm not liking this um crease brush 
might end up giving this to Manish, you know. I feel like, do you know the W7 eyeshadow palettes? I feel like the brushes that you get free in the palette are better than this. And the ones at Primark for a pound are better than this. So, so far that is my feelings on them. And I'm just building this Anaconda shade up. My IBS is playing up so bad today. Just getting, you know, stomach cramps. Oh, it's awful. Not that you guys wanted to know that, but it's what I do on my channel. Share a little bit too much information. Yeah, I believe people were complaining about the shade, this Anaconda shade. Um, saying you know it just doesn't show up and I've heard that people complain about this palette in general if you've got this palette I would love to know what your thoughts are on it right I'm gonna need to get a better brush than that because that the bristles on that are too soft for me so I normally use my cargo one shall we Shall we try that? It's barely picking up. Right, so I've got a little bit more than that. I mean, you can see it. Don't get me wrong, you can see it, but it's not as vibrant as it would look in the actual pan of the eyeshadow palette. Right, let's try venomous in the outer V. If I'm being completely honest I bought this palette for the shimmers. Or they look more like press glitters um, to be honest. So yeah I mean I love the look of these on the front row here and then this blue um, and green here. So as long as I can get some of them to work that's you know that green it looks very very vibrant so why don't we make this um, deeper and bring this into the crease and I think I like it more yeah that looks a lot better doesn't it I don't want to go too too heavy handed with that shade um, but venomous definitely makes it um, more pigmented um, which it would do because it's a deeper green. Yes, yeah, so if you're not liking Anaconda, just go in with this um, Venomous shade as like the outer V shade. And run it through the crease as well and it will deepen it up in seconds. Um, fun fact. Well, I don't know if it's really a fun fact, but... Before I decided to get this palette, few days ago I'd never watched one single video of Bretman Rocks. Now obviously I'd heard about him um, but I hadn't watched any of his videos and then I went the only video I've watched like up to date like to this very very day to what I'm filming is the video on this where he's in the jungle and I love that video that I did um, so yeah I am um, watched that one and it was absolutely amazing it was actually filmed where jurassic park um was made and i just thought wow what an experience and what i wanted as well he brought out highlighter um so it, it was a duo loose highlighter but that's not on beauty bay anymore and neither is the setting spray if they was if they was on the um, Beauty Bay, I would have got them as well. I don't know why this is suddenly like... I don't know. I don't know why they suddenly put it on sale. I don't know if it, it just never sold well or what. But it is a really, really stunning palette. I know there's a few reviews on YouTube that are saying, watch this before you buy and, and things like that. And it's like surely it can't be that bad and I like to make my own opinion up 
on the products. And I will be making my own opinion upon this product. Um, especially when I do all those looks with it. I've been asked to do looks with this palette. A few people have said, "Are you gonna be? Are you gonna be doing videos with it, um, or are you gonna be doing a video on it?" And I said straight away, "Oh yes," um, because when I get new eyeshadow palettes, I do videos with them. That's why I get them to review for you guys and to give you my honest opinion. Um, try and save you a bit of money if you want to go out and buy it if it's a dud i just tell you you know my thoughts on it and why i think that it wasn't a good palette this so far i can appreciate why people are saying the anaconda um they didn't like it because it really didn't pick up it took me a while to build that up um but then i went over it with was it venomous yeah venomous and it looks so 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 much better I think um, so yeah it, it's, it's looking really really nice I'm not quick to judge a lot of people um, when influencers make YouTube collaborations whether it's an eyeshadow palette or highlighters or whatever it is um, they want to not like it now me personally so far I don't have a problem with that but obviously I've only used three of the eyeshadows so far um, I'm going to be using this one so let me try and find that small accent brush right so I've got it so I'm going to see if we can um, if we can pick it up with that um, so again it's Big Peacock Energy um, so let's put this on looks like a, a forest green with quite a lot of um, specks of glitter in it Oh my gosh. Not that you're ever going to watch my video, but Bretman, you did good. And so did you, Wet n Wild. That is a gorgeous green. I want to leave some space in here um, for a different shade. I'll be spraying it as well just to see um, how much more pigmented we can get it. Not that it needs to be any more pigmented than this. Yeah, so I was saying before, um, quite a few people have said to me, oh, I'm really looking forward to hearing your thoughts on the uh, Bretman Rock palette. Will you be doing videos um, on it? Will you be doing a video? I'm for sure. Yeah, definitely. I like to do videos with all my new eyeshadow palettes. But this one, um, for sure, I want to do um, this look, obviously. Yeah, so I wanted to do a look using all my Wet n Wild products that I've got so far um, and obviously put this in, so do a complete face and I'll also do that 5 days 5 looks with it as well just to really, really test out the palette and then I can give you my true opinion on all the shades that I use um, Right, so what are we going to do now then? I'm thinking using this one in the inner corners prowl it might be a bit too light and it might not go on well even though it's gone on that brush quite well let's have a look oh yes brush is ideal for picking up these um, eyeshadows I 
I love that so far. Let me just get my brush to blend. I just feel like those eyeshadows in the crease need a little bit more blending. I feel fierce in these shadows. I mean, I'm going to the hospital today. It's hardly hospital appropriate, but... I'll try and tone it down with a neutral lip. This is the kind of look that I'd wear on a night out. Right, um... Then we need to go on the lash line. So all I'm gonna do, I think, is... I was gonna use one of these, either Flamingo or Feline myself. Um, but I don't think I will today. I think I'm just going to go on Venomous on the lash line. I don't want to go too mad when I said, you know, I'm at the hospital in a short while. Um, so yeah, I don't want to look too bad. <sighs> I wish these stomach cramps would go away. Hey guys, so at this point it really is a couple of hours later. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, it's a couple of hours later. Um, really didn't feel well when I went away last time. The cramps got a bit much for me, so I just kind of um, went off camera for a while. But I thought I would come back now to do the rest of the makeup. So, what I've noticed as well with the glitters is they have gone onto the crease a little bit um it's not a big deal it's just something to know if you don't like glitters up there um i tried to blend them out a little bit with this venomous shade but it's not happening um so we'll continue to test the palette in the next week and see if the other shades do that i'm going to put venomous on the lash line again Right, and then we're going to test what the eyeshadows look like wet, well spritzed, um, let me get the spray. Right, since I've got this new wet and wild spray I thought I would use that. It's quite nice. Um, I would definitely get this again. Spray on, it's quite nice. So I'm just going in with the green, the big peacock energy. Oh yeah, they're much more pigmented. You don't really need to do it. It's a gorgeous grain though, this. Then I'll do it again and I'll spritz the brush again so we can go in with that gold. The Prow shade. Yeah, much more pigmented. Right, so I'm going to be using this. This is the only high-end product I'm going to use in this tutorial just because it's in the project pan and I want to use it up. Right, and now I've got, for the first time ever, I've got a new Wet n Wild mascara. I've never tried any of the Wet n Wild mascaras and this one was on sale. The only thing I'm not happy about is the brush, but that doesn't mean it's going to be a bad mascara. It's the Wet n Wild Mega Protein. Oh, it's the waterproof mascara. I should, I should have realised, with it being aqua, um... So that's another thing I'm not happy about. With, with waterproof mascaras, they tend to be really, really difficult to get off your lashes. So 
the brush I'm just not happy about it let's see what it looks like it's buildable oh a bit chunks come off I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that dip the brush back in on a big chunk went onto my lash it's not the end of the world though I managed to get it off right so now I'm gonna get a lipstick I've got quite a few wet and wild lipsticks so I'm just gonna choose one of them okay so I've chosen one of the first ones I ever got so this is the wet and wild bear it all so very very neutral with this look don't want to look too crazy so as you can imagine with me being ill earlier on I didn't get to do any of the chores that I wanted to do today didn't get to the doctors didn't get to my mum's didn't get to the hospital I'm gonna have to um, I'll go to my mum's later on and I'm going to have to like do the rest of that on Monday I love these lipsticks and um, what I like about them one they're inexpensive two they just stay on um, and they wear off really really well as well so yeah that's that so let's do a rundown of the new products that I got right so we're only going to talk about the new products that I got from Beauty Bay um, and the one backup product that I got so just because that's on the face today I'm not going to talk about all the other products that are on the face um, just because I've done it in another video I'll link it I'll try and find the video and link it for you guys so foundation I've worn this a few times now this is the backup well this is the older one but I have got a backup of it um, so I have worn it a few times now and I really really do like it I do want to try the matching concealer to it but I didn't buy it so I couldn't like kind of demo it here's the dewy one um, and my shade if you're interested normally in foundations I wear put right let's start again <clears throat> normally in foundations I wear porcelain but this one is light ivory um, I would have liked a little bit more of a cooler undertone it's, it works um, but it's still a little bit a tiny bit yellow I would say um, but it does, does work um, they add soft ivory and I think they just add ivory and ivory looked a little bit more yellow tone than this so I thought this was obviously the best one for me and I got the backup in the sale and that's why I got it I got all these products in the sale and that's why I have them now in the collection so yeah I really really like this I think it's good um, right so that's the foundation right that's not new um reserve your cabana so we won't talk about that right so this brush guys this wet and wild crease brush not happy with it it's very very flimsy um compared to my other like compared to this i think this is bh cosmetics ones it's just it's just not as good um which obviously you're gonna think wet and wild BH cosmetics it's not gonna be um, I think what I'm gonna do is clean this up and give it to my little niece she might appreciate it a little bit more um, so that's that and I think I only paid about £1.75 for it so that's the second item I ordered have we got all these items in here three four five yes six items um, the next thing is this right so i didn't think i would like it um so this is the wet and wild color icon bronzer in ticket to brazil i really really like this it's a glowy bronzer um it doesn't come off like really really dark you can see just how pale it is 
um, and like I said earlier they do these smaller bronzers don't they now um, and they do it in Ticket to Brazil as well and that looks so much darker than this one um, I'll have to get that and obviously do a comparison that video but yeah um, and there I'm sure they're marketed as colour icon bronzers as well don't quote me on it but I'm sure they are um, so that's that really really glad to have that but I need to be careful obviously um, the wet and wild reserve your cabana goes in powder and this one goes in bronzer but I just need to be careful I don't mix them up so that's good um, right and then the next thing is the wet and wild photo focus natural finish setting spray not the one I wanted I wanted the rose one they do this one they do a matte one and then they do rose a rose one and a cucumber one um, this one's quite nice I do like it um, not quite sure what it's supposed to do it just says it gives you a natural finish um, so not 100% sure on it I will be testing it out once I've used the W7 one I'm not going to be using it now I've used it for this tutorial um, but yeah I, I won't use it again then we have this wet and wild mega protein mascara um, waterproof mascara should I say right so the jury's out what I don't like about it is the wand I don't like the wand um, and then it's clumpy I don't know if you can see it on the actual thing there but like when I've just took the wand out of it a big clump of mascara has come out of it there so that's two things I don't like about it already I am going to keep it in and I don't have a choice now it's open so I do need to use it up um, it's in the shade of very black um, if you're interested I'm gonna continue to use it and then we'll be giving our true thoughts probably in a month or two when I when I have them to basically sometimes with me and mascaras I've said this before um, it can take me a while to get to like something or get to know if I like it or dislike it um, so yeah we'll be doing that and then the last thing what I place the order for in the first place is that so we've got the Bretman Rock um, and Wet n Wild collaboration it's called is it called yeah Jungle Rock um, so all the eyeshadows are on the back there as well which is uh, which is a like it which is a like it why can't I speak today which I like about it um, use your words Andrea <clears throat> yeah they didn't need to they didn't need to put that on it as far as I'm concerned but it's nice to have it there um, because obviously you've got all the shades on there but if they was to kind of like rub off if you have it over a period of time and they rubbed off and um, you've got them on the back so that's yeah I like it um, right so the shades I've used today I do really really like of course um, like they've gone up into like above the crease some of the glitters um, but they have been on hours at this point um, I've just topped them up a little bit so I really enjoyed this coconut connoisseur shade um, Anaconda um, Bretman did say look that isn't a pigmented eyeshadow and I did swatch some other ones as well and said look they're not pigmented you know so don't go off swatches we all know that um, hand swatches are not the same as eye swatches but it didn't translate really well when I put it on did it so yeah there is that obviously you know if you want that to be a little bit more vibrant you really do have to go in quite a few times but as soon as I put venomous in the crease um, and in the V, in the outer V, it's transformed the eyeshadow. Um, so yeah, they work really, really well together. And then of course we used Big Peacock Energy. I absolutely love that shade. It's probably one of my favourites in the palette, even though I've not used the palette. Um, I've only used it for this one look. What we're going to be doing next week when I do my shot, my stash 
is pulling it out and I'll use it for five different looks. Um, really really excited about that um so yeah that's that's what we're going to be doing on first impression guys i think the packaging of this is really really good i think both wet and wild and bretman rock have done an amazing job um first impressions on the eyeshadows i've used today i absolutely love um can't really fault it and i know this palette's had a little bit of a hard time but i just think people like to call things out they expect so much more um especially when an influencer puts the name to it they expect so much more and if it's not up to their standards which at this point like when an, as soon as an influencer puts their name onto a product that's a drugstore especially they expect it way up there and then you know if in their opinion it comes like here they like saying, oh, well, you need to watch this before you even buy this palette. Um, I don't agree with it. I actually I actually really like this palette so far. I might change my mind once I've used it for a few more days. If I do, I will let you know. All my opinions are genuine. I bought this palette with my own money, so I don't need to say anything other than what my opinions are. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, share and comment and I will see you again next time. Bye.